your phone. Is that it right there? Yep. Sit right next to you. <laughs> yeah, man, it's always here, you know. Information always within an arm's reach. Has everything on it. Phone numbers, directions, important dates, trivial facts. They like ask me, what's this? I'm like, I don't know, Google it, you know? The smartphone has become an irreplaceable tool for most people, but for a generation that's never really had to get by without one. All knowledge is on there with a touch of a fingertip. Has it replaced things like working memory? With the phones, they don't have to remember a whole lot of stuff because technology remembers for them. And Siri will remind you. There's mounting evidence that it does have an effect on our wiring and neural development. So what happens when the phone is no longer within arm's reach? Can I see your phone, please? Yes. <laughs> Can I take your phone from you? Kelly, who are the most important people on this phone? Uh, my boyfriend, Tyler, Olivia, Maria, and Ava. My girlfriend, Marina. Uh, my two best friends, Anthony and Reese. What's Tyler's phone number? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I honestly don't remember, I don't think. I can't think of the top of the head. <laughs> Can you call your dad right now? Nope. Do you know any of their phone numbers? No. Dad, let's try you out. Could you call your wife right now? Yeah, I could call her either at work or here. My husband. Um, so it's 440289. Or I could still tell you the numbers of my neighbors from 40 years ago because it was repetition. Whereas here, it's a press of a button. It's, it's a concern. There's evidence there that it's already shaping our way to recall things. Now it's time to test spatial memory. No phone means no GPS. <laughs> it does feel a little bit weird. And without it... Uh, maybe I'm not where I think I am. Can they get to a few nearby places? We actually kind of did a big loop. If you were a library, where would you be? <laughs> uh, I don't know. All these buildings look pretty old, so you'd think that one of these would be the library. It's too late to get on that way, so okay. we're just going to go this way and hope it's right. With a little help from their parents... Dad? When we pass it, you let us know. You yeah. passed it already. <laughs> oh, man. And taking some non-direct detours. Uh, I'm not where I thought I was. So, Jim, correct me if I'm wrong, but this road that we're about to turn onto, we passed yeah. down on Riverview. <laughs> okay. Yes, we, we could have been there already. Let me put it that way. They did eventually make it. Yay, you made it here. Here it is. Well, we missed the entrance. <laughs> so if phones are affecting our memories, how do we get it back? Doctors say it's like a muscle, so it may be time to start exercising. Playing games like, hey, what was on the table before we left home? Card games, you know, where you have to match two cards. And so those are things that the less we perform them, the more difficult are going to be to perform if required. Does it make you feel like maybe you're a little too reliant on your cell phone? Um, definitely. In terms of directions, yes, definitely. I think that I should stay off my phone more. <laughs> Will Ewick. Oh, that's good. Three news.